Our filet of sea bass is seven ounces. It was cut from about a 45 to 55 pound fish. Very, very fresh. I'm going to season it. A little bit of olive oil. A little kosher salt. Cracked black pepper. Repeat the same to the other side. What's very important is that the pan be very, very hot. To this pan, we're going to add canola oil. We'll use canola oil because it is a lot higher firing point. While that cooks, I will demonstrate how we do our butternut squash. We take a whole butternut squash, we're going to cut it in half. Like so. Next step, we're going to prepare our Meyer lemon beurre which is a Meyer lemon and white wine sauce. We'll start off with whole Meyer lemon, a little bit of whole shallot, sliced, add some thyme branches, and some white wine. We're going to reduce this down to a glaze. medium high heat. I have our butternut squash finished after cooking for an hour. Check it that it's nice and tender. It is. Now we're going to take it, dig out the seeds, and add it to our blender. Again, we're going to add a little bit of whole butter, a little chicken stock, salt and pepper, no cream, it's going to be very, very nice. Add our whole butter, just at room temperature, a little bit of chicken stock, and as always, a little kosher salt, and fresh crack, black pepper. It's better to not add too much stock or butter to wait and see how it is. And if it's still a little chunky, you'll add a little more, but this seems very, very good. As always, we'll taste it for seasoning. Delicious, perfect. Take a very nice, Zucchini squash. Okay. We're going to make nice slices. White. You're going to want three slices of each for each fish. And then we're going to blanch them quickly in this salt water and then right into some ice water. So, here we go. About 15 seconds. Right into ice water to stop the cooking immediately. Voila. We're going to put a little bit of butter on top. Introduce it back to the oven quickly just to warm up the zucchini. We'll take our fish from the oven. As you see, very nice. The crust warm on top. Set that here for a moment to rest while we finish our sauce. Again, it was Meyer lemon, shallot, white wine, and thyme. We reduced 
the lemon juice and the white wine to a glaze and added a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And now we're going to monte or mount with some whole butter. What you'll want to do is put it in piece by piece and then let it come to, let each piece fully melt before you add another piece. You also never want this to come to a boil. If it comes to a boil, the milk salads, the white wine, and the butter will separate together very nicely. Again, just small pieces of butter. We're going to add about four ounces in total, and then we'll season it with salt and pepper. As I'm doing it, I'm also pressing the lemons to get more of its juices out. Again, we're keeping it hot so the butter melts, but we're not doing it enough so where it comes to a boil and the emulsification separates. All the butter is melted. We're going to season with salt and pepper. Again, you want to keep it in a warm part of the room. The biggest thing about an emulsification like this is if it gets too warm or too cold. Too warm, it breaks. Too cold, it actually coagulates and also breaks. But there's our sauce. And now we're ready to plate. Take our plate. Take our beautiful puree. Just a bright, vibrant color. Just like so. Again, huge, huge flavors. Now we're going to take our fish with our beautiful zucchini crust. Carefully put that on top. Like so. Clean it up a little bit. We add our crumble of corn nuts, salted and smoked almond, and some crispy parma prosciutto. Then we're going to add our butter sauce. and finish with a little bit of herb oil. A little herb oil. Present our seared chalet and sea bass with zucchini crust, serve over butternut squash puree with a crumble of smoked almond, corn nuts, and Parma Prosciutto, Meyer Lemon Beurre Blanc, and Herb Oil. I want to thank you from Parkland Golf and Country Club and our signature restaurant, 91. Have a great day.